All right, so this is gonna be a video about critical numbers. Now, basically what a critical number is, is explained in this part right here. It says each relative extremum, which just means one extrema, has a derivative equal to zero or does not exist. So at that x value, that is the critical number. So whenever you have a relative extremum where the derivative is equal to zero or does not exist, then you have a critical number. Now, to kind of explain this a little bit better, I drew a graph right here that kind of shows critical numbers. So I have this blue function right here, f, and at f prime of c, this point right here, the derivative does not exist because it is a, it is a sharp hill there. So every time it's a sharp hill, the derivative does not exist. Just think the absolute value when it's that v, that bottom part, that min, the derivative does not exist. And that c value that you have to plug in to this function, the f prime function, for it um, is called the critical number. So f prime of c does not exist. That c is the critical number. Okay, another one I have a parabola right here in red, um, function g. Now g prime of b right here is going to be equal to zero because it's a horizontal tangent line, and that b is going to represent the critical number. So these are the two examples of how to get a critical number. It's either the derivative does not exist, or the derivative is equal to zero. So that is critical numbers. Okay, now because of that, we have some theorems that are, basically it's just one theorem that I wrote over here, and it says relative extrema only occur at critical numbers. So relative extrema can only occur at critical numbers because the mins and the maxes only occur at uh, the relative mins and maxes only occur at critical numbers, so relative extrema can only occur at critical numbers. However, the opposite is not true. So what that means is not every critical number is necessarily a relative min or max. So every min, relative min or max it has a critical number, but not the opposite. So that means that every critical number has to be tested of whether it actually is a relative extrema. Now, what does that mean? That means you need to test either side of that critical number. So you have to test before it and after it. And I'm going to show you uh, in another video an example of how to actually do this so it'll make more sense. This video is just primarily to get you accustomed to what a critical number is. So derivative is equal to zero or the derivative does not exist, that is your critical number. So if you have any questions about this, let me know.